some vision for education instead of this Order. Order. political Members, time interest. time has expired. Uh, Mr Speaker, it's an absolute... I call Kiritapuana. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, Mr. Speaker, it's a pleasure to be the final speaker for this first reading on the Education Amendment Bill Number Two. Uh, it, however, it does uh, probably come to mind that it must be about five o'clock on Thursday uh, of the fourth sitting week because I'm sitting here and I'm I'm wanting to engage with the opposition's position on what is actually a fundamental reform of our education system and has grown out of, I guess, a collective um, a, a movement by uh, educationists, uh, young people engaged in the education system, experts and all and sundry, uh, and particularly engaged for the education conversation, that they've wanted to see some fundamental changes, and this bill uh, is a part of doing just that. But So when we're listening to the great things that uh, will occur as a consequence of this bill, for example, ensuring that um, private schools uh, are required to ensure that they are providing a safe place for all students and their staff. Now, me, I think for most ordinary New Zealanders who sit back and reflect, if you have your child enrolled at a private school, that they should be entitled to a safe and secure environment like every single other student is that is enrolled at a public school. Again, this government, this side of the house, is merely fixing up absolute anomalies and, in, in some parts, some atrocious, I guess, misalignment of values. And this bill goes towards that. But uh, as we sit here, and I've been sitting here for the last, well, few hours listening to the opposition, and it doesn't matter what we put up, doesn't matter, e even where it fundamentally makes sense, like ensuring that all schools in New Zealand are a safe place for all students. The opposition is calling doom and gloom and that this is the end to uh, everything that's positive about New Zealand. So the last speaker spoke about political utu. Political utu, I, I, I guess I would say, uh, Mr Speaker, may just be awaiting uh, for a party that sits here and negatively espouses rhetoric day in and day out without actually putting up a vision for Aotearoa New Zealand, but sits here and plays politics with our kids, sits here and plays politics with our schools, sits here and plays politics with our communities, and won't even have the gumption to come to the party and say, actually, actually, guys, all right, yep, we are in opposition, but that makes sense. It makes sense to ensure that all kids, regardless of the school that they're enrolled in, deserve to be in a safe and warm environment. So. Without taking up too much of this House time, it's an absolute pleasure to commend this bill to the House. Uh, the question is that the motion be agreed to. Those of that opinion will say aye.